Father George Rutler's The Seven Wonders of the World, Meditations on the Last Words of Christ, was published in 1993. Father Rutler, like Archbishop Fulton Sheen, had a tradition in New York City in Good Friday of preaching the seven last words of Jesus Christ from the cross. And uh, Father Rutler's meditations on the seven last words uh, come every year, and he takes um, different uh, historical angles on it. This particular year, he contrasted and connected the seven last words of Christ from the cross with the seven ancient wonders of the world. And he has a chapter on each of these ancient wonders and how they are a marvel of human creativity, human genius, human mathematical and architectural genius at an early stage of ancient history. And a good example of one of the ancient wonders of the world are the pyramids in Egypt. So what Father Rutler does is he connects an ancient wonder of the world to one of the phrases of our Lord from the cross. And the message is this, that the human genius, architectural, mathematical, of a particularly ancient, under, ancient wonder of the world always points to the ultimate figure in human history, the redeemer of the world, he who is truly God and truly man, the unique redeemer of the world, Jesus Christ. Father Rutler summarizes his reason for connecting the seven last words with the seven ancient wonders of the world in this way. For our purposes, these seven wonders take on a significance apart from any intention of their builders. Each of them is a point of reference for the seven words from the cross with which our Lord defined the purpose of man in history. Attempted parallels can be as artificial as anything else contrived by a fabricator's imagination. But the definitive wonder is that two pieces of wood from which Christ spoke surpass in importance anything else carved and joined. And his few words ring louder to time's end than all the hearty and heartbreaking declarations of fine engineers and sculptors on the scaffolds of alabaster parapets. So we see that um, this beautiful connection, the use of the seven ancient wonders of the world, it just seems to highlight the glory of our Lord's words from the cross in, in a beautiful and creative way.